Okay, so this may seem like an extremely ridiculous build for Fiora, but it actually does work in ARAM or ARAB games. And uh, just look at this damage it's going to do right here. I'm going to pause the video on this first slash. Okay, so there's the first slash. Now look at how much damage that did to Cho'Gath right there, okay? And then look at that right there. Again, a huge chunk of damage more because of the splash damage effect of the Tiamats is just ridiculous. And then look at this right here. It actually kills Cho'Gath just from the splash damage of when I do the next hit on a different enemy champion. Kills him outright. And then Ash? Done like dinner. So this is really only a build that's really uh, useful in ARAM or ARAB games, like I said, because of all the enemy team being in close proximity to one another. And it even works with basic attacks because Tiamats are uh, an item that proc on basic attacks. It procs on her ultimate because her ultimate procs on hits. But look at this right here. Look at the damage I'm doing by attacking Blitzcrank and ignoring Cho'Gath. I'm not even paying attention to Cho'Gath. And I fucking kill him. I kill him and Janna just by melee attacking Blitzcrank. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's just, it's ridiculous. And it gives you almost no armor and no defense, which kind of sucks. But again, that's why it's only really viable in games like this, because you can jump in there, do ridiculous damage, and then get the hell out. That's pretty much what it's for, is to do ridiculous damage and let your team come in and clean up. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Lux, she's dead. Just get the fuck out of dodge. You're done. It's, it's nuts. <clears throat> You're done. You're done. And um, the, these are all three of these last clips were in ARAB uh, games, all random, all bottom. And here's an all random, all mid game. Uh, I only kill one person in this, but I mean, again, just look at the damage, how much that's doing to people like Gragas and Nautilus and stuff like that. It just, it's really is ridiculous. I've heard they're going to fix that for her um, ult, that it's not going to proc on hit anymore. But um, they may even make Tiamat, I've apparently heard, a unique passive, so you can't stack it like this. But uh, yeah, and I also like how I get out of this with like almost no life. I think I'm down to like 8 life, 8 health. Yeah, look at that, 8 HP. Wow. Barely made it out alive on that one. Now this one's great right here. Look at that. The splash damage simultaneously takes out Soraka and Gragas. I don't know which one I hit, but whatever one I didn't hit, the other one dies. And now you just do one basic attack to take out Nautilus, and that's it. So, I mean, if you're playing uh, ARAB and ARAM games, this is actually, in my opinion, a legit build to do with Fiora. Is four or five Tiamats, depending on their team and what they've built, and to uh, get something with armor penetration if they have armor, and if not, then uh, just, you know, stack the damage on there. Get five Tiamats, and I don't know, something else to get a little bit of armor, and that's about it.